This is Story Recapped. Today I'm going to explain a comedy, fantasy, and horror film called Dave Made a Maze. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Dave gets interviewed about the maze he built, but he stresses to the interviewer not to make him look like a coward or a jerk. He insists that he built the maze because he wanted to prove that he could make something good, though he acknowledges that it caused people's death, and for that, he's sorry. Earlier, Annie, Dave's girlfriend, arrives home after a weekend trip when she finds a cardboard maze in their living room. From inside, Dave welcomes her home, but she's weirded out and decides to take a shower. After her shower, she sees that Dave hasn't come out yet. He recounts that he started building last Friday, and now he's lost because it's much bigger inside. Annie tells him to tear it down, but Dave refuses to destroy it. Suddenly, steam comes out from one of the cardboard chimneys. Annie decides to go in, but Dave tells her it's dangerous. Thinking that he's joking, she shakes the cardboard structure, and it causes a lot of noise while Dave panics. He tells her not to do it again and stresses that she shouldn't go in. Annie then asks how long he's been inside, and he admits that he's been there for three days. She insists on tearing the structure down, but Dave asks her to call Gordon for help. With no choice, Annie calls Gordon, who comes over quickly. He asks why they haven't torn the structure down, and Annie sarcastically replies that Dave worked hard on making it. Later, Annie stares blankly at their bedroom ceiling, utterly confused about what she came home to. Gordon reminds her that Dave Dave never finishes anything, so they should be proud that he's seeing this one through. Annie, however, doesn't share the sentiment as her boyfriend is lost in a cardboard maze he built in their living room. Gordon agrees that it's ridiculous. Dave, who's been listening in, notes that he hasn't eaten in a while. Annie suggests lifting the structure so he can crawl out, but Dave taped the cardboard onto the carpet. Still, Gordon tries to pry it off the floor, making Dave scream as more things happen inside. This makes Gordon stop and passively knock on the cardboard. Dave hears the knock from the inside, so he instructs him to continue doing so to lead him to the exit. However, Dave ends up getting lost again. Amused, Gordon decides to call Leonard and Dave insists on telling no one else but him. However, Annie soon finds her apartment filled with people who've come to see Dave's creation. Leonard thinks about going in, but Dave reveals that he built obstacles and traps inside, which took on a life of their own. Leonard loses interest and decides to go home, but their filmmaker buddy, Harry, asks to interview him before he leaves. Hearing this, Dave asks who else is out there. Annie and Gordon list down the guests as Greg, Breen, and Jane, along with Harry's boom operator and cameraman. Gordon also invited two Flemish tourists and a homeless man. Dave asks Annie to talk to him privately at the back of the maze. He apologizes for the situation and tells her that he misses her, which she reciprocates. Her voice journeys from the makeshift vent and into numerous hallways until it reaches Dave. Finally, Annie goes to her bedroom and finds Harry interviewing Leonard there. She declares that she's going into the maze, so Harry lets Leonard go home while he films Annie's preparation to create a montage. Annie packs some food, water, and a box cutter, but Greg wonders if they can also go inside. She tells them no since she'll only get Dave out. Out, but Breen takes this as a rescue mission. Suddenly, everyone starts going inside except for the homeless man, who raids the fridge once he's alone. Immediately, Annie realizes how oddly large the maze is from the inside. Gordon, Harry, and his crew join her, though everyone else seems to have gone further without them. Without touching the walls, Gordon gets a paper cut, and his blood drips on the floor, which the cardboard immediately absorbs. Freaked out, Gordon suggests turning back, but everyone follows Annie to search for Dave. While Gordon panics, Harry and his crew find a button with a warning, saying, Don't push, Gordon. Harry pushes the button, and a boxing glove appears, punching Gordon in the nards. Annie soon finds a path decorated with a keyboard box from her gift to Dave. She comments that at least Dave got to use the box. As they go further, they find a path with giant piano keys on the wall. When Annie slips into a black key, she finds that it's it's a tunnel, which leads to another one. They play around the piano key tunnels until a ribbon catches their attention. They follow it to a room full of scrap paper, where a cardboard face spits out more paper at the end while two paper cranes are on the sides. Pushing through the mounds of paper, Annie notices a paper flower, while Gordon finds a phallic one. One of the cranes squeals, leading Annie to notice that the other one is missing. Suddenly, the second crane pops out from under the papers and starts attacking the cameraman and boom operator. At the same time, their entrance gets sealed, so Annie pries the cardboard 
cardboard face's mouth open to escape. Meanwhile, the homeless man enjoys some coffee when Leonard returns, hoping to continue his interview with Harry. However, he sees that everyone's gone, so he goes into the maze. After escaping the room, Annie stares in wonder at an origami bird she caught, which moves as if it's alive. Harry then directs her to talk about their experience, but Annie is still too stunned to put her thoughts into words. Suddenly, Jane finds them, interrupting the interview. While everyone is either confused or overwhelmed, Jane is ecstatic about her experiences in the maze. She steps on a trigger, which activates a mechanism under them. Still, Jane makes jokes about the situation, clearly not afraid. In contrast, the others back away in fear, thinking that she triggered a trap. Finally, Jane shows fear, but when nothing happens after a while, Gordon declares that it's safe. As if to prove him wrong, the maze releases a blade that decapitates Jane. As her blood splurts out in red confetti-like yarn, the others scream and run away. After retreating into another room, they wonder if Jane died or turned into a craft project as they're still shaking off her yarn blood from their clothes. Meanwhile, Breen and Greg play hide and seek in the maze until Greg trips on a tripwire. This triggers a trap, and when Breen finds him, he's impaled by multiple paper tubes, and his blood splurts out like strings. Breen runs and screams, leading her to find the others. She demands to get out, but Harry uses this as an opportunity to capture more drama. He directs Gordon to tell her that they need to find their friends, but he gets so dramatic that Breen ends up slapping him. Tired of the unnecessary commotion, Annie intervenes, allowing Breen to recount how Greg died. Annie asserts that they have to figure out the maze, but Harry directs her to hug Breen to capture more emotion. She ignores him, and the women head out, so the others follow. Going back to where Greg died, they find his body missing. Annie wonders if Greg survived and got out, so they follow his trail of string blood but notice large footprints along with them. Gordon thinks they're the hooves of a minotaur, who's probably eating the people that the traps kill. Determined to escape, Annie takes out her box cutter and stabs a wall to cut their way out. As she does, a strong gust of wind fills the place. They hear something arriving, but Annie finally opens up a wall, allowing them to escape. Breen, however, realizes that it's too late for her, so she tells everyone to get out just before the Minotaur captures her. The group runs away until they lose the Minotaur and finally come across Dave. Immediately, he tells them to follow him, but he ends up at a dead end. Annie finds a small door, so they hurry inside and find themselves in a cardboard optical illusion room. Finally, Annie confronts Dave about the maze, but he points out that he warned them not to come in. Annie stresses that they were trying to rescue him and Gordon agrees, blaming Dave for getting them into trouble. Defeated, Dave just moves on and finds a secret path from inside a gift box. They follow him down a pipe that leads them into a room where they turn into cardboard puppets. Dave insists that they just keep moving, assuring them that their form isn't permanent. Suddenly, they hear something entering the pipes, so the puppets run for their lives. During this, they dodge traps. So Annie asks why he had to build them. Dave reasons that if getting through the maze was easy, everyone would do it. Hearing a trap being triggered, they duck as darts shoot at them. The lights then turn red as the Minotaur approaches them, but it's also in cardboard form. Harry thinks it's okay, but the Minotaur suddenly turns back to its half-human, half-bull form, and they make a run for it. They enter through a pipe, which turns them back into humans. With that, Dave hands Annie some scotch tape to create a temporary wall. Despite the wall being made of a towel and tape, the Minotaur doesn't cross and just leaves. Annie scolds Dave, revealing that Greg, Breen, and Jane are dead. Guilty, he insists that the maze wasn't supposed to hurt anyone. He tries to explain himself but admits that he can't. Annie stresses that even if they get out of the maze, the Minotaur will still be in their living room. So Gordon jumps in front of the cameraman and declares that they should turn it into bull burgers. Dave then wonders what they can do about the maze. So Gordon hops in front of the cameraman again and declares that it's time to take out the recycling. Dave suggests finishing the maze instead, revealing that his bag is full of building supplies. Annie asserts that they're not building the maze further, but Dave insists that instead of defeating the maze, they must complete the maze. Gordon refuses to, even though Dave's statement rhymes. Pissed at the two, Annie tells him to focus on defeating the Minotaur. Dave still wants to finish the maze, promising that it'll be safer and more stable once it's done. However, Annie believes he just wants to keep working on it, so they don't destroy it. Meanwhile, Leonard wanders the maze alone finding the spot where Jane died, unaware of a paper bug crawling over his back. 
the group reaches a path that Dave doesn't recognize, making him believe that the maze is building itself. Uninterested, Annie takes out her box cutter, but he warns her against using it as it may cause the maze to become more unstable. Dave points out how the maze shouldn't have turned out the way it should, but they should still appreciate how it did. He comforts Annie by hugging her, but their moment is interrupted by Harry filming them. They reach a room with colorful lights, sparking some romance between the couple. There, they also see their old college film playing. The movie then changes to ladies dancing, so Annie gets uncomfortable. They move on to the next room, where Annie finds an undulating hole. Everyone who steps in falls into a trance as if driven to reach into the hole. But Dave stops them, saying that it's a trap. To show what it does, Dave removes his glove and reveals that his left hand is entirely made of cardboard, having turned after he stuck his hand inside. Annie urges them to keep going while Leonard ends up in the pipe that turns him into a puppet. The group sees what looks like the exit, but finds it leading to a cardboard version of the apartment. Seeing his friends demotivated, Dave urges them to lead the Minotaur into the mysterious hole to defeat it so they can finally finish the maze. Still, nobody shares his enthusiasm, and Harry just asks for an interview. In the interview, Dave reasons that he built the maze to accomplish something. Breaking down, he rants about how he's 30, yet his parents still send him money. He asserts that being broke means to be so broken that he can't work. Afterward, he walks out to calm himself, and Annie joins him. She comforts him and helps him focus on escaping instead. With Annie taking the lead, they check their supplies to plot their escape. Gordon suggests finding the maze's heart and killing it. Suddenly, the boom operator comes running from the exit after slipping back into the maze unnoticed. He points out that he was able to find his way back by following the trail of seeds that the cameraman had been spitting out. Hearing the Minotaur nearby, they hurriedly put back the towel to make a temporary wall before walking away. Gordon notices the tape peeling off, so he and the boom operator fix it before escaping. Finding a safe place to rest, Annie asks Dave if he built the maze a heart, but he didn't because he didn't want someone to destroy it. He still hesitates on destroying the maze since it's the first thing he built that he wanted to finish, although he realizes that no one would have gotten hurt if he hadn't made it. Seeing how much he cares about it, Annie finally agrees to let Dave finish the maze, but he must build a heart for them to destroy. With that, they all move to the next room, where they weave through a mini maze. In the next room, they find a cardboard version of Breen, who asks for high fives. Knowing it's a trap, Annie and Dave head to the maze's center while the others distract the cardboard Breen. Gordon asks Breen why they're here and she tells him that life is full of incomplete moments where there's no escape. Meanwhile, the couple heads into a dark tunnel, where they see a version of their lives where Annie continues being successful while Dave withers away into becoming a bum. Suddenly, the scene changes to them wearing paper wedding attire which they tear off. They continue switching costumes until night arrives, and they have nothing on the table but a candle. Still, the couple is happy to be together. Realizing that he has nothing to prove as long as he's with Annie, Dave blows out the candle, and they return to the dark tunnel. Soon, the the couple finally reaches the maze's center, so they begin building the heart. During this, Harry asks about the Minotaur, so Breen states that it's a dark manifestation of feeling unwanted. After creating the heart, Dave gives Annie a katana which she uses to hack through the cardboard walls. Sensing this, Gordon ties up Breen to trap her. Breen turns into a giant cardboard hand, so they hold it to prevent it from attacking the couple. Finally, Annie and Dave reach the center, and as they prepare to set the heart, the giant hand retreats into its hole. The cameraman sees that he's stepping on the other end of the rope, so he gets dragged into the hole. He throws Harry a bag of tapes before falling, causing an explosion of red confetti. The rest head to Annie and Dave, passing by the Flemish tourists who are having a picnic in the maze. However, Gordon gets separated as he's chased by the Minotaur. Annie and Dave set up the heart as Harry and the boom operator filmed them. The heart opens up and starts affecting the maze, while Gordon continues to avoid the Minotaur. He passes by Leonard, who gets killed by cardboard blades, spewing red strings all over. Meanwhile, everyone is stunned at the heart coming alive, but Dave decides to destroy it to save everyone. He takes the katana and strikes the heart, causing the maze to fall apart. Soon, Dave wakes up in his apartment, buried in the scraps of cardboard. Annie, Harry, the boom operator, and Gordon also come out, alive and well. With no words exchanged, the friends begin clearing up the mess, and Dave accepts how all his hard work is gone. Afterward, Harry asks Dave what they should call their documentary, so he suggests Dave made a maze. Harry then tasks Gordon with notifying the families of the deceased. With that, Dave and Annie take the scraps into the dumpster outside. After they leave, however, the Minotaur climbs out from the scraps, along with a living origami bird. The Minotaur then makes his way to the streets, ready to conquer another world. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.